What's up guys, this is Helder from Digimon World Gamer and I'm gonna review Power Rangers Dino Fury's second episode and let's go. Uh, the episode starts with the Rangers practicing their Morpher sequence. As we know, Zeto is the is a veteran Red Ranger, but both Blue and Pink Ranger they are new to Ranger stuff, so they need to practice practice a lot. And they're practicing their morphing sequence. And as we can guess, they they both mess up. <laughs> they 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 let the the Ranger key slip, uh, fall over. It, it's a really mess, but they're practicing. And but when they finally get the sequence right, the Pink Ranger asks what happened to the other Rangers because they they clearly see there are six statues but only three Rangers, and Zeto explains that the other Rangers are lost uh, with the also with the keys. So uh, it, it's only the the three Rangers now. Uh, later, the Red Ranger t tells them about the booster keys, and the Blue Ranger makes an observation saying that the booster keys are like power ups on video games, which is a clear point. Where are the Power Rangers video games? We want the Dino Fury video games. Uh, even if it's a classic beat it up, a 3D beat it up, come on, Hasbro, give us Power Ranger video games. Specific series Power Ranger video games. <laughs> uh, okay, so they transport back to the base. Eh? Zaito explained that, that how they te the teletransport and the Blue Ranger is always sick when he teletransports. It's gonna be a, a gag on the on the show. And they finally get there to the base, which is just beneath their feet. I don't know why do they need to teleport to 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 go to the base, but I guess the the explanation is because uh, Solon built a force field around the. The, the power chamber so they can only access via tra teletransportation and I think that's the, the case. She said that she managed to wake up the dinosaur Zord which is cool no? and, and also the Red Ranger said that they need to alert the people about the sparks to go on public and tell, tell them about the sparks and, but the green, the blue ranger has a different idea. He said that it, uh, he looks at the scanner that was dropped from Vault Knight on the last episode, and he says that he wants to combine both the scanners and his mother's technology in order to make a, uh, an aerial scanner, which is not a bad idea. But uh, they think the pri priority is to go to actually talk to the to the government, to the city rep representatives, and worrying about the the beast, the the sparks, because uh, it's very important to keep people safe. Then after going uh, some new technology, at least that's what they agree. Even though the the Blue Ranger is kind of uh, not wanting to follow that plan, but we'll see more more about that later. They teleport to the city, and, and again, the Blue Ranger is a little bit sick by teleporting, and Zaito is somewhat somewhat amazed that he, he teleports to the the center of the city and say, "Oh, planet Earth changed from from 65 million years ago, and sure changed a lot." Yeah. And but both the Pink and the Blue Ranger say that he, that he needs to not draw attention. And he draws back his antenna so he, he, people won't see him as an alien and draw attention to him, which is nice. Yeah. And then they go to talk to the Warden Garcia at the Rigid Park's headquarters. And she, she, the Blink Ranger tries to explain how, what are the sparks, why they're dangerous. And the Warden just make fun of her saying, oh, now, now you gave up on ghosts and then... You wanna you wanna follow all uh, sparks beats uh, this blob alien things from space? He draws a new UFO, making fun of them, and they realize that that wouldn't work. And why do they they going out? He the Oli to goes talk to his mother, and, and he explain about the sparks. He shows the scanner. He asks his mother to combine the scanner with her drone, and she says she's up to it. Then they go to the bus feed. Which is where the Pink Ranger works, and look at that! 
uh, her boss is has some new announcement to do and inside that box you can read hard for robotics and we can clearly know what what is hard for robotics it is um, an enterprise enterprise owned by the Red Ranger's father from Operation Overdrive which is an expert on robotics of course and also he built up his uh, his son which is Mac from the, the Red Ranger from Operation Overdrive as a robot uh, if you don't if you haven't watched Power Ranger Overdrive I'm sorry for the almost 20 years old old spoiler <laughs> I guess it is 16 years old spoiler man and yeah so the so it's a very not to the old game to the old Power Rangers fans see the Hartford robotics logo on the the box at first I didn't notice but after seeing that name Hartford it kind of reminded me oh that might be a reference to a Ranger series and there you go Operation Overdrive reference because of robots and androids and the Red Ranger that is awesome but then uh, there's a little gag with the robot stuff like that then they find out that Sparks was seen on somewhere né? and both and the uh, all Rangers go after it né? but meanwhile the Rangers are after this the Sparks are hatch Void Knight goes back to the chamber he tries to find his his scanner because he knows he dropped uh, on the Power Rangers chamber, but he can he tries to attack the the chamber to force away, and there's a huge force field uh, protecting it, which Solon may made it true, and that's the reason the Rangers can go to their base by foot or by walking. He has a huge force field that only allow the Rangers to go to teletransportation, and it's a very it's a very nice thing they've done here because they want to keep the this stuff co consistent and co cohesive for example uh they they could just ignore that the void knight would come back to the scanner or whatever no but no they made sure void knight wanted to go back to the to the scene and try to just hit the ground and go to the ranger space again but haha guess what they're preparing now that's very nice. This this makes the the villain, the world, the 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 spot, the the plot very consistent and cohesive, and I like that kind of stuff. Keep going, guys. Uh, but then there's a little flaw, in my opinion, is a flaw on the on their the characters' minds or the plot, the writers, because you see the the Blue Ranger and his mom go to the Stonehenge place where they were, were a place where uh, they clearly know them is wide public and stuff like that né? no it's not public because it's, it's forbidden to go there né? but they, they could have just assemble the drone and the scanner on their home and scan from anywhere else but no they had to go to the to the woods where people could see them uh, it, it is not it is a public place but not open to the wide public but still they could have done this in a private place and not being seen by monsters where it would try to kill them as you can see later yeah. uh, the blue ranger re receives a call to check out the sparks that just hatching on the on the on the water dam yeah. And he goes to their friends. And they start fighting the the powerful Mukus, which is a very powerful Sporix. And they try their first morphing sequence to fight a monster. And that's a little nice touch there. Zaito says, "Hey, ah, you got that? That's really smooth, huh? That's cool." And because he he realized they're not messing up this time, which is very nice. <laughs> it's a very little humorous part of the show that that is something that the developers promised back then because they said that the humor on the series would be more um, spread and not just a heavy uh, humor spot like the previous seasons with uh, some goofy um, uh, sidekicks or supporters 
and that's very nice. I, I want to see s those nice touch of subtle humor. Né? I enjoy that. I like that. I think they're going on a great direction with the with the writing on this season. So let's keep moving. Né? So yeah, they they fight the powerful mucus and destroy her with just one attack. She was not that powerful. <laughs> And yeah, with just one attack, the Red Ranger destroys the, the villain and the episode ends. I'm just kidding. Uh, later on, the the Trihorn, or no, that's not Trihorn, the, the horse-like monster appears and they start fighting him. Né? And Zaitos use a stinking power-up, né? it's, it's a stinking boost, which m destroys the does destroys distracts the the horse monsters and guess what the undestructible mux comes back because he she can regenerate from the uh, green blob messy slime she became from and that's nice it's not very powerful but she can regenerate yeah? uh, and immediately after that she start fighting with the horse monster né? because né, she said oh we must stick together little horsey and, and the horse monster say oh, i'm not a horsey stop calling me that i'm i forgot his name but let's call him horsey because <laughs> that's the name that stick out to me né? they start fighting né? and they just go away because uh, the horse monster say the, the, he has a boss and then Moku says oh you have a boss I like to be here others and they go together né? and also the rings regroup on their base and the blue ranger said that his mom is with the scanner uh, scanning the, the the area with the alien scanner and you know now they started to, to not argue, or they started arguing with each other because there was not the plane they combined with the, as a team. Né? But they go on check on his mother because she might be in danger. Of course, the villain might be after his scanner, né? and né? He, he pretty much put an, 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 an target on his mother, splashing, especially doing that on the public place, an open wide view place. Né? You should have thought about that, especially for a smart guy, as the the uh, Blue Ranger is. But yeah, the the monster is forcing her to to scan the the area to find the 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 Sporex, né? and the Rangers comes to her aid. And here we have a, a little nice stuff here. Uh, we see the the fungus is trying to order the 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 blue ranger's mother né? but she rodeo lassos <laughs> the monster with uh with uh a, an orange uh, hose she ha she has there i guess it, it is a, a wire um uh, computer wire which is that strong to rodeo lassos and monsters and spin her around né? And but and not only that, as the Rangers are fighting the the monsters, and she also she fought the 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 last uh, the last threatening monster, which was the the stupid fungus, né? and also she managed to destroy the drone uh, with the scanner. She doesn't say exactly uh, with that words, but she doesn't want the the monsters to have her technology so she rather destroys she rather destroyed the drone and boy that's a powerful drone because she drops the drone on on the monster's head and it explodes like, <laughs> like it's a ranger weapon man that that's a very powerful a really powerful drone man <laughs> it, it, it gives a huge explosion that that sends the monster flying way to stratosphere <laughs> I can't show you the footage on of the episode because of copyright I can only show some still images but man that looks fun as you can see the scanner is destroyed né? and Voinachi says oh, you're gonna pay for that stuff like that but I believe she can reconstruct the the, the scanner with the proper time 
I guess. But it's very good to, to the villains to think that it is destroyed beyond repair. But uh, I, th I think she can re reconstruct it with time. Uh, with the given time and stuff like that. Yeah. And the Blue Ranger comes on to check on his mother. He doesn't reveal his identity, which is... He can't do that. He even makes up a voice. And then, Ma 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 Ma'am, are you... Go to safety. Are you okay? Go to safety because we... It's a very danger, they might come back, stuff like that. <laughs> it's very it's a very fun moment. He he shows concern for his mother, but he does he doesn't want to to reveal his identity. Which makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and later on the the horse like monsters grows up grows big. And Zeto tells the both the pink and the blue ranger to slow him down using their boots while he activates the his sword and i think that i i don't remember seeing rangers attacking the giant monster while they the without the sword whether they are still on their normal sizes i do remember on power ranger zeal on the final battle uh trey of trifara make the rangers grow to fight the monsters so they fight the giant monsters without the megazords because they're giant but it is the first time I saw a ranger without the Megazord or without any Zord attack the giant monsters with their normal size. That, that, that is something insane. I never saw that on Power Rangers. I guess, I guess on Ninja Steel they have that attack where they relaunch from the Zord and attack the monster. It was, uh, it was an, an attack within the, the Megazord. But this time they don't have a Megazord, they don't have a Zord, they don't have anything besides the booster and their powers. They attack the giant monster with their bare hands. With, with, with of course the help of the boosters. But man... That is insane. This season is insane. I try to keep my cool guys, I try to be in a level headed scene. Oh, that's a very nice season. But man, that is awesome! <laughs> They're going out, 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 out on this season. It's great. It is awesome. Uh, <laughs> this Power Ranger season promised to be awesome. Yeah. Good job, Hasbro. Good job. But uh, moving on, they're attacking the, the monster, and the Red Ranger shows up with his uh, Zord. Uh, the Tyrannosaur uh, Zord transform into Warrior mode. Uh, nothing new here. Uh, an individual sword transforming into warrior mode. That's normal. Yeah. But there we have something different. Uh, on this sword scene, I don't know if, if it's just a first sword scene, but as you can see, the the champion sword is jumping over the bridge on an upside down angle. And that is something we don't see on Power Rangers fights. A different angle view on the Zord fight. And uh, it, it might seem something trivial, but it is a different scene. It is a different camera view. It is different uh, ambientation for a fight because we don't see the, the, the Zords worrying too much with the obstacles on the, the city. They just... Oh, the monster grew up, let's go and fight it. It is like that, but this time, it's different. Uh, it might be something subtle like, oh, he just jumped over the bridge. What's the deal of that? But it is a different angle, it's a different kind of scene stuff like on the on the fight. And through all the fight, we can see there have lots of different camera angles. Nah? And the fight itself, it's fast and much more faster and fluid than the previous ranger fights, the Zord fights. It is awesome. Good job, Hasbro. You're doing great. You're doing different. You're doing proven. You make me crazy. <laughs> this long time Power Ranger fan that that seen have seen it all is having a good time with with the the, the new uh, man man I I can't even talk straight without <sighs> it's too much emotion, guys. Uh, it is awesome. It's a different scene. It's a different camera view. 
Hasbro doing a very awesome job. It is make me speechless, and not just because I'm Brazilian and I and my English is a little bit rusty and stuff like stuff like that. Because I speak the English without problem, especially when I'm doing something not exciting as talking about Power Rangers. You can see on my Sonic the Hedgehog channel. But man, I I, I really don't know how to express myself with, the, with this awesome Power Ranger stuff because they're doing something different, they're going out and out, they make these different camera angles, they, they're making faster and stronger fight, which gives you the impression of a Dragon Ball Z-like fight and not the, the, the same 70s Kung Fu style fight. <laughs> nah, it is awesome. But of course, nothing is perfect. Uh, for some reason, the the Red Ranger summons a, a sword né? inside the the Zord's cockpit, cockpit, and the the Zord does not have a sword. It, it fights with here uh, his fists. Uh, it, it, it ha the the Zord has lots of attacks. It has a, a barricade Tyrannosaur, which is like a, a machine gun like the uh, attack which is nice I, I didn't expect a t-rex sword have a machine gun attack like uh, where, he, where he shoots lasers and bullets and stuff like that and uh, the sword has a whip tail attack which it makes sense uh, tyrannosaur has a has a big tail which can be used as a whip makes total sense but the final attack is an attack where the tyrannosaur has used his uh, fists shape as the Tyrannosaurus mouth and punch the, the the bad guy but for some reason he summons a sword and use that to attack it makes no sense if you're gonna fight with the fist in in the form of the Tyrannosaurus mouth why summon the sword it's just that and, and it's not a sword on the Megazord it's a sword inside the cockpit with just for the Red Ranger to give the command that's an oversight and glorified joystick. <laughs> but that is just my opinion, guys. I am very impressed with this series. As you guys can see, sometimes I'm even speechless, which I, I can express myself. Not because the language barrier, barrier but because I'm, uh, my heart is pumping and racing. I'm, I think it, this season is very awesome. Né? But sometimes we have stuff that makes no sense. Ah, I summon a sword so the the, uh, the sword can attack with his fists and not with a sword. Makes no sense to me, but okay. No. So they destroy the monster. And the monster is not actually destroyed. It just comes back to the Sporex form. And as they try to catch the Sporex, Void Knight comes first and grabs the monster and goes away. And they regroup on, on the chamber. Uh, on the chamber, uh, Zeto says, "Oh, they fought well. Uh, even though, even though the Blue Ranger admits he messed up a little bit, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all water over the bridge, as they said." And uh, the Red Ranger goes on the bus feed, explaining to the population about the Sporex and how they can help prevent fire, uh, <laughs> wood fire, uh, like like those. Those rangers on the floor said, "Only you can prevent wildfires." <laughs> that scene came on my head uh, with the Red Ranger and the Warden Garcia on the background. But hey, he explained to the population that only you can prevent spory attacks, sporex attacks, by calling ho Ranger Hotline and worrying about us when you see a sporex. That's that's a very nice scene. <laughs> But then back to the villains, Void Knight explains to the to the crazy uh, to the crazy mushroom monster that he found an abandoned base called an Area 62. And if you know pop culture, if you know uh, alien conspiracy theories, Area 51 is a real area on the. Man, I need to slow down a little bit. But if you know, Area 51 is is a real area on the USA government's stuff like that that deal with aliens. Is is actually is it? Yeah? 
And they made a nod to that area, saying, oh, I found Area 62, which the humans abandoned many years ago, now it is, now it is mine, and I'm an alien, I am here, uh, uh, we, we got that. Now, if you're familiar with alien conspiracy and government conspiracy, you know about Area 51, and you know, uh, and he probably got that reference. And that's not all, he puts the the Sparks monster on a machine né? I don't know what he's gonna do with that machine what is his plan but he needs more Sparks to put on this machine so his plan can be completed and the episode ends guys I really like the the episode yeah and my uh, I'm a little over excited even after watching the episode three times because I, I watched it once to to experience the episode and I watched two times to make the the snapshots as, as you guys are seeing here and I watched a third time so I can review just after I watch it again so I like the episode I like this the fight sequences the Zor fight sequences were, were mind-blowing because new camera angles faster fights and stuff like that and also the humor on the series is much more subtle and also we have reference to a past ranger season which was operation overdrive which is not everyone's favorite season most people think it's the least favorite season it's operation overdrive because it's very generic and stuff like that i personally like the operation overdrive it's not my favorite season of all time but i like it it's it's nice it's okay i like this quest for looking for Asian orbit object stuff but that's it guys that's the 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 episode tell me in the comments what you guys think and until next time